This is Kevin from SingaCruiseMetalBay.com. Who we do in Santa Cruz tonight? Just got off their tour. That's right. How'd that go, by the way? Uh, pretty good, yeah. Uh, I mean, everything was pretty last minute. But, um, you know, even for like, how short everything was thrown together, like, there was still like, a really good turnout. Like, still a shitload of people that uh, wanted to see us there and stuff. And, uh, you know, we sold a lot of merch. You guys tell me a little bit about the writing process that went into that? Um, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much like the same uh, writing process as the first album. Like, uh, basically, um, I would just like have a song and just like write it out in my head. And then uh, what we would do is we'd I'd go over to Steve's house and uh, I'd record a guitar track over like a metronome. And like the metronome would be keeping like the rhythm for like the drums. So basically, it would be like a guitar track and then a metronome. And then we would give it like put it on a desk and then give it to our drummer. And then our drummer would just like listen to it and then like play along to it, you know, and then like make all his rhythms uh, right when he was, you know, going for it. And then uh, after that, like we basically, you know, I would go to Ivan's house and we would tab out everything on the bass. And then, you know, it was the same thing as you listen to the picture of the tracks and then, you know, just like play along the bass. Unfortunately, you know, for the advancement of uh, computers and technology, you know, it actually made it pretty efficient for us to be able to be a part of it. What about lyrically? Lyrically, uh, this album is definitely far potentially. That's just another way of even saying black hole, for that matter. Right. And this album is definitely space oriented and whatnot. It's about just galactic decimations, just pretty much uh, a lot of apocalyptic theories and whatnot that go into it. And, uh, yeah, just, a, just pretty much, uh, it, just the album cover itself even just sums up everything. You can picture New York swallowed by a spiraling black hole that literally pulls you into shreds, you know. Uh, yeah, you pretty much get the point of view of living content in yeah. that album. Sure. Cool. Uh, so, you guys are playing tonight. Uh, what is your favorite song you guys got on? Yeah, Swine Slide is awesome. Yeah. Swine Slide, that's probably a, my favorite one for sure, too. Like, uh, yeah, like, there's like a few riffs in there that are really just fun to just jam on, you know. Like, uh, I mean, a lot of our stuff is like, a lot of it's like really technical, but then, you know, when we get to the simpler parts, when we can just, you know, relax and play like a simpler part, just you know, jam out, it's like probably the most fun. Got to on the crowd too. Half the time I didn't have to sing it during the tour, you know. I could take a break or something, you know. But yeah, it's awesome just to see people screaming up there. So that's pretty cool. And uh, so, who are your guys as musicians? Who would be your biggest inspirations? Uh, well, for me, like definitely uh, Nickelodeon, uh, Discord, Origin, you know, they're from here and like a big inspiration on me, like the best parts like that all those stuff. Yeah, I pretty much just listen to that stuff and that's you know where I get my main inspiration from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Pretty much the lines go the same thing as what I'm saying. I like uh vocally like James and whatnot. Just it just seems like the more technical what the music gets as it progresses, it's just a lot more talented musicians of the whole. You know, being in the center and whatnot, I definitely focus on having the singers of the album. Spot possession, you know, that was well. I was recorded by the drummer, I guess. Right? Yeah. And it's pretty awesome stuff, the way that they just keep carrying on the world like that. It's definitely inspiring. But yeah, definitely the same lines. Never pages and all the camel forms. Yeah. Four strands, you guys. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> that was like pretty much my dream show. 
show right there. You know? uh, I can't think of like a better death metal show that I could have ever opened for, her, except for maybe it's like Nile, you know, makes it something like that. You know, like uh, but, yeah, I mean, a show like that or something similar to it, you know.